Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I I get some craft time today. I'm so excited. It's Mother's Day, and I get to spend most of it crafting, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, I am altering these notepads that I bought. They're uh, really cool because they have a nice sturdy cover and back, and then the pages are thick, and I don't know if you can see the texture, but I mean, they're great for journaling or drawing or uh, art journaling, collage. I mean, really great paper, so I, I love these. So I've been um, altering these uh, for the next craft fair season, and today I am going to be using these fabulous uh, images from um, Doreen's uh, Pink Parfait Cafe digital kit because it's my favorite kit. They're all amazing, but I don't know. I feel like each designer has their favorite kit. This one is mine. <laughs> and I will put a link below uh, to this kit in her Etsy store because I just love it. It's Pink Parfait Cafe. So I printed out... Um, these little cards on cardstock and then I sewed each one down to a piece of cotton fabric with cheesecloth lace and tulle behind each one because I love how shabby that looks so let me just show you some of the ones from the kit and I think I'm going to use this one today but they're all fabulous and I did stickle some of them up because you know I know. I love this. I feel like, okay, the sunlight is not actually helping me right now, <laughs> but these are fabulous, Doreen. I love them. So I'm going to work with this one. And what I've been doing on these is I've been covering it with basically a snippet roll. So I just uh, took a piece of a sheet and I cut it to fit. Oh, let me get that out of the way. And then I just took it to my sewing machine and sewed on snippets. Which, how can I improve the light situation here? I don't know, because I want you to be able to see all the bits. So I have some of that beautiful heart tool um, fabric from Angel Dream Crafts, and then just a bunch of lace snippets that was in my little snippet basket. And then I just sewed this, um, ruffle on the bottom and so then I uh, cut off all the extra bits and then I zigzag stitched all the way around the edge so that it wouldn't fray apart I want there to be a little fraying of course because it's shabby I want it to be shabby but I don't want it to fall apart so <laughs> that is my background and I am just loving the snippet covered uh, covers <laughs> that's a mouthful I've also been taking the extra snippet bits and just sewing um, buttons and some of my I put pearls and some of my put charms just to add a little extra snippet embellishment and that's going to go on here too and um, I have this so cute this doily flower isn't it pretty do you love a doily flower as much as I do? I tell you, I love them. And I love them to have lace too. So there is a lace layer in this guy. It's beautiful. So I'm sorry my camera is toward, it'll look upside down to you if I have, but I have to look at it straight on or I'll have a mess. <laughs> so maybe we can do it sideways. But I'm thinking that is gonna go there. And then I like that kind of, I think. I'm gonna put this over the edge of that just to cover it. So I'm gonna do like that. And I want to sew on this beautiful key that I got from my friend Marie at Cupcakes, Pearls and Lace. Thank you, Marie, for sharing. I am enjoying going through that little box of goodies and using them. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sew that on right there yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then i'll put a book so i don't put i like to work on this without it being attached to the cover so i can sew on any bits that need sewing and i do sew most of it until i get right to the um 
end. Like I'm probably not going to sew on the flower or the digital image um, patch that I created. I'm probably going to glue those with some hot glue because it's nobody's going to be washing this so hot glue is going to be fine hot glue um, does hold fabric very well unless you're going to wash it <laughs> so we're going to go with the hot glue get this all sewn on so i um bought these notepads in different sizes this is the biggest one and then i have one smaller and then another one yet smaller. So they have just really been fun to decorate and hopefully they'll do well at the craft fairs, I'm not sure. Uh, last year was my first year doing craft fairs and um, you know, I only did two. So I'm hoping to do a lot more this year and I'm hoping they go well. We shall see. All right, so let me just get a knot there. Whoops. Okay, cut that off. Y'all, I have to tie a knot in the end of this right now or I will forget and I'll try to sew something <laughs> and pull it straight through and I'll be so aggravated. All right, so now that's ready to go. So I've got my key, I love it. It's so cute. So I know that's going there and I know that this cute little bow is going on top of that. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this right there love it and I know that this is gonna cover that up so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on too isn't that so cute I love the little uh, snippets with the buttons it's just cute so let me do this side first yes adorable there we go I meant to pull out some more and show you some of the other ones that I've done but I already have them packed away but um, when it gets closer to craft fair season I will do a setup of my uh, table and then I will show you guys how that's going so pretty sure I want that there and this here isn't it's just cute I might move that down a little bit so when I glue this down I don't glue on the edge of the fabric because I want that to remain you know movable and soft so I'll literally just uh, glue right on where I have stitched it and so that the rest of the things can just be hanging out. So let me go again. I think I want it. I think right there is a good place. But it's nice how quickly these come together because when you make a fabric or a snippet roll background for anything, like it's already pretty. So you don't have to do a lot to the rest of it because I don't know snippet snippet fabrics are just beautiful to me beautiful all right there we go so i left these um make a mess here i left that so that it's still you know it sticks up and it frays and it's shabby and it's lovely right it's just lovely now, I think I want that to go there, but I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my cover before I go any further. Oh, I just think it's so cute. What a cute notebook. And I bought the ones that go uh, this way so that whatever I put on the cover wouldn't be in the way. You know how when you open some this way and then you turn a page, you've got all that to mess with. So I purposely didn't get that kind love and I am just gonna hot glue this down which works great get out another hot glue stick 
so, so stinking cute. I'm going to do just a section at a time. And I also don't mind that you can see some of the craft um, uh, of the cover. I think it adds to the shabbiness, but what I need to do is not glue the pages together. So let me do this. There we go. Cute. I've got a squeaky spot on my floor, y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Let's get this section down. Let me put it so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put the glue right where I want it on here. And I'm going to get this side section a little bit better. There we go. I mean, it's cute, right? Isn't that, it's just so adorable. Let's get the flower on. And, um, oh my goodness, yes. These things are so cute. I'm, I'm in love with these. I hope they do well because I love them so much. I think they're so cute. Hot glue is hot. Quit sticking your finger in it. Okay, note to self. Right, and then I'm going to glue some of these layers down a little bit better. Yeah, actually, that's perfect. And there it is. Isn't it cute? And this image is so adorable. Pink Parfait Cafe is my favorite, Doreen. I love, love that. Love them. So I would love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment and a thumbs up and make sure you go follow the link down to Doreen's um, shop and check out the Pink Parfait Cafe digital kit because it's beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.